Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will give you a quick introduction about ClickSense. So ClickSense is a new age data visualization tool from ClickView. If you have noticed earlier on the ClickView website, the ClickSense has been marketed by ClickTac as a next generation data visualization tool by indicating click.next. So let's see how you can get ClickSense and then review its different components. So if you have not already installed the ClickView, then you can go to its website click.com which I have mentioned here www.click.com and here you have the option of downloading ClickView and ClickSense. So in free downloads, you can actually go in and uh, see the ClickSense desktop and ClickView personal edition. So to get a ClickSense desktop, you need to click here. Uh, they will ask you some details about, personal details about your name, organization, stuff like that. You can provide that and uh, get the ClickSense desktop. Or if you are interested in getting ClickView, if, if you are not aware of that, then you can get a ClickView also. So let's quickly go back to our ClickSense software. And uh, this is what you usually get um, when you start ClickSense after installing it. You get a couple of... Uh, uh, already created demo application by ClickTac. Uh, this is executive dashboard, help tax management and sales discovery. Uh, there is also a beginner's tutorial that is there. You can actually download it and uh, go through it. It is available on the uh, ClickSense or Click, ClickView website. Now let's quickly see uh, one of the available demo application which is executive dashboard. And once you click on that, it will open the uh, the same application and show you the different sheets which has already been created. So KPI dashboard. If I am selecting, then I am getting this uh, this dashboard, and you can see how different it is from a normal quick view application when it com when you compare it by the available data visualization. Um, apart from that, it has some of the uh, great capabilities, a uh, little bit similar to ClickView. I would not say it is far different, but it has major advantage over ClickView when it comes to uh, showing the vis visualization or already available visualization. So here you have the different types of charts, the pie chart and the line chart. If you are interested in expanding one of the chart, you can actually go to that chart like here it is mentioned and uh, expand it and clearly visualize it if you want to again uh, go back to the same uh, size and location you just click on this close full screen view so that's how you can actually select and uh, you can make the expand or you can expand the chart so apart from this it also allows you to do a selection if you are clicking on the chart so if I'm just hitting this chart and making this selection and I can ask uh, click sense to yes I want to make this selection then this will be selected so whatever selection I am making is visible over here if I want to remove it I can hit on this cross sign and make the clear selection so apart from this if you want to take a snapshot of this view you can take a snapshot by going here also, uh, if you have any uh, stories, like uh, I have uh, one which is presented by ClickSense over here, making analysis by uh, sales. So you can uh, start the stories presentation or you can create a new stories based on the visualization and the charts that you have created earlier. Um, apart from that, you have bookmarks, then you can get all these bookmarks over here. If you want to create a new, you can have a button of button here uh, specifying you can create a new mark. Um, if you want to edit, so just yeah. So let if you want to edit this sheet, you can click on edit button, and you will go into the edit mode where you can resize it, make some property changes uh, by going over here, general presentation color and legend. And once you are done, you can hit again over here. And done and you are back in the presentation mode so currently it is showing KPI dashboard if you want to switch to uh, some other sheet which is in this dashboard is sales analysis account receivable and you can move in there 
or you can you can actually go into different sheet uh, different parts or different sheets over here uh, this arrow you can see and once I click over there I get a sales analysis the same as sales analysis which was reflected over here and if I want to go into another the next uh, analysis I will just hit over here and get the next analysis so this is how you can actually see the different analysis which is present or different sheets which is present um, so let's go back and see these icons so first one is navigation icon in this navigation icon you get an application overview uh, data load editor let's quickly go into data load editor and see it and just close so earlier in click view if you have uh, uh, done some work over there you can uh, get an idea that uh, there were tabs but here they have created a sections like this for different scripts that they have loaded um, so if you want to add a new script or a new section you can click over here and specify what new script you want to uh, create apart from that uh, you have uh, option of data data model view edit data model viewer and open hub open hub is nothing but this quick sense desktop hub so I'll just click uh, or come back from this uh, editor so for that just press the backspace and uh, you will go back to your dashboard now let's see another uh, icon which is available here of menu it's a quick data load uh, suppose uh, there is new data and you would just uh, want to upload that you can click over here to quick data upload duplicate sheet self-explanatory quick duplicate one delete sheet we're going to delete it help will open a help window uh, in a web so make sure your your internet internet is connected because help will be available over there and about is uh, about uh, this uh, quick sense application so that's I think pretty much all I wanted to cover uh, in this dash in this uh, introduction of ClickSense, and uh, I will meet you in the new video with a new topic.